Yo, what is going on? Let me get this out of your face. Uh, what's good? What's good? This is going to be a very quick video um, because it's, uh, it's just a very simple thing to, to describe, explain, and show you how to do. Uh, and this is going to be me showing you how to actually deliver your products, assuming that it is a, uh, a digital product. Um, so this is going to show you how to make sure that they actually get it and all of that stuff. Um, so basically, real simple, um, let's assume that you have your funnel built uh, and you have your products on... Um, so you would basically create your product like this, which I think I've shown inside of, um, inside of a tutorial already. Uh, but if not, then you're about to see it right now. So product one, two, three, and then you'll also place that in the product description because this pops up on uh, their bank statement. Um, and then whatever price you decide to do, one million dollars, not just put 100. Copy and paste this right here as well. Or if it was a subscription, you'd pick that. Um, and then it would just take the subscription from whatever uh, payment gateway that you use. Personally, I use Stripe, uh, as you've seen from one of the one of the videos showing how to do refunds. Um, next is the fulfillment email. Um, so first thing that I do is I get rid of this top message. Boom. And it says you may access your thank you page. I switch this to membership area. Um, and then I will put this as uh, the name of the product. And then in parentheses, access. So anyone who purchases this product is going to receive this email directly from ClickFunnels immediately. The next thing that you want to do is this piece of code. This is attached to whatever you have as the thank you page. I'm going to put this um, under... Oh, wow. I named it something weird on accident. Um, so let me just go ahead and rename this. Uh, this is my membership area. Uh, now let me save this. All right. Um, I'm just going to hit create product. And I'm just going to refresh this so that it updates um, along with it. And then, um, there it is, tutorial membership. Um, and then I click this membership area. So now this link right here is going to send them to the membership area so that they can actually sign in or create their uh, login information or whatever, whatever it is that they want to do. Um, next, you would do email integration. So this is where you assign them to whatever email list that you have. I'm just going to... I'm not going to go in any of those actually, um, but all you would do is select uh, your your email list, um, put add to list, and then select whatever list it is that you created. Um, and then if you were doing, uh, if you were sending out, like if you were doing physical products, you can actually attach ClickFunnels to Shopify, and then you can pick the product there. And then that would be the end of it. It would just ship the product to them, and then you'd be good. Um, next over here is just whether or not you want to make the product uh, commissionable and then what commission plan you want to use so you're able to turn that off or leave it on whatever you would like um, and then that's basically it in terms of creating the product next um, and then I mean this is going to be the same on the upsell pages as well uh, so the next thing that we want to do is we want to go to our membership area so this is the, the tutorial membership area that I made already and showed you guys how to make um, and then here are the lessons that we made. And then I want to restrict access. Uh, so I want to go to uh, Sales Funnel Product 1, 2, 3. This is the product that we literally just made. So now anyone who buys this product, not only do they get that fulfillment email, but they will also be allowed to see this part of the course, only this part, because that's all they've been given access to. Um, you can also, this is a new thing, like literally they made this like a day ago. Or... I should say this week of recording. Uh, so you can also just type it in and then it'll bring up the products. And that is probably one of the greatest updates that they've made recently. Uh, there's all these cool like bells and whistle things, but this, this is what I'm most excited about. The fact that I can just type it in and it brings up the product. Uh, so make sure you name your products appropriately. 
Um, so now they have access to this. So now they'll be able to sign in and they'll be able to uh, they'll be able to actually have access to it. And then you would do that for, for everything inside of here, obviously, but I'm not going to do that because it's unnecessary. Um, next thing you want to do is you want to do, uh, you want to copy this link. It says free access. They should really change this because they made it very confusing. Um, but all this is, is it's a place where they can uh, sign in or create a membership uh, area. Um, so always do this one because even if they already have a membership area, uh, you're still going to be able to, um, they're just going to be able to have a button that they can click that just says, oh, I um, already remember, just let me log in. Uh, so always do this. Um, and then what we're going to do with this link, uh, there's a couple of things that you can do with this link. Um, one thing you can also do is if you want or if they're getting like access to multiple membership areas, uh, what you can do is you can get rid of this. Um, and then you can put membership uh, area one. Uh, membership area two um, and then what you would do is you would just uh, throw that link in there and then whatever other membership area link that you want that's how you would do that um, the next thing that you're going to do is on the order confirmation page um, this is so this is going to be the last page that they land on um, assuming that they go through every every step of the funnel and the reason why you also want to email them is their, their membership area is because some people just don't go through it. They'll just X out for whatever reason. Uh, so um, what you'll also want to do is congrats, order is complete. You can access your order below. Um, and then you just put the URL for the membership login area right there uh, under go to website URL. So that's, that's how you use the button. If you don't know how to use the button, if you don't know how to navigate throughout here, you're way too far into this. A tutorial series and you need to go back and watch some of the older videos um, so boom uh, now that link is there and then we'll, we'll switch this to something so uh, your membership area here um, click here to get started uh, and then I usually leave this receipt right here and then what this link is um, it's whatever you set the thank you page as so assuming you did it right that link should just take them to the membership area as well and then it gives them a nice receipt and it also has buttons that take them to the membership area excuse me sorry I just drank a smoothie so I'm burping a little bit uh, and boom uh, the, so that's basically all you really have to do in terms of getting them their membership area and uh, giving them access to their products so so now your product has been successfully delivered. Uh, but if you want to take this another step further, um, what you can do is you can also set up the fulfillment email. Um, so what you can do is uh, whatever, whatever list that you have them added to, you can set it up in whatever email provider that you're using, email marketing uh, software that you're using. You can set it up so that whenever anyone joins that list, uh, they'll just get this email. Um, so you can't do the thank you thing. You'll have to do it this way where you just put the link inside of here. So say, oh, here's the access. Um, and then they'll just get uh, an email from that list as well. Uh, so that is literally it in terms of deliverability um, and making sure. Actually, hold on. Let me say one more point. Um, there's going to be a lot of people who lose their membership area. So one other thing that you can do is let's assume uh, this is blank right now. Uh, but let's assume this is like a large page. There's all kinds of text. Uh, let's just make it um, easier to understand. Headline. We don't want this to be as obvious as possible. Uh, video. And a button. Um, here we go. Okay, cool. Um, so another thing that I started doing recently uh, to help out with people who lose that link, lose that email, because it's just bound to happen. Um, what I'll also do is I'll add a row up here. Um, so I'll put uh, like a logo or something right here. A logo for the course or logo for the business that I'm working with. Um, and then over here, I'll put customer service number. Um, and then in the middle, I will put
membership area. And boom. Um, and then I'll put the link. So anyone who wants to access their membership area and forgot their link, didn't bookmark it or something like that, uh, then they'll be able to just come back to the sales page uh, and they'll have a nice uh, button right here at the top where they can log in. Um, and it makes it very simple and easy for them to use. So now I am officially done. Uh, that is everything in terms of deliverability. Thank you once again for watching. If you learned, if you enjoyed it, uh, I would like you to like this video, comment below, subscribe, all that stuff. Um, and let me know anything else it is that you would like to learn uh, about ClickFunnels, how to use it, how to sell with it, anything like that. Leave that in the comments and I'll definitely make videos in order to help. So thanks again for watching. Peace.